Hello, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about my private uh, Mac Mini server, uh, which was, was able successfully to, to expose to the public web access through ngrok. And this is the uh, host where application uh, which implements Sparrow UI can be accessed. And this application talks to the uh, Sparrow backend. Uh, Sparrow UI application is implemented with, implemented with Gradio, so essentially it also runs on Mac Mini, and then it talks to the uh, Fast API endpoint uh, created on the same Mac Mini machine, uh, which uh, allows communication to the Sparrow backend, where uh, Sparrow Parse agent is invoked and Sparrow Parse library uh, through MLX uh, makes inference. Uh, on Visual LLM Q12 in this case, and it extracts uh, data as it is defined in the query uh, here. It can be either star if you want to fetch all data, or you can specify specific uh, uh, JSON string uh, with the field names and types to extract. And then it gets back the response. So this is the Gradio application, once again, accessible. Uh, anyone can access it uh, here uh, under this um, uh, domain sparrow.katanaml.io uh, and uh, this application supports both image files like PNG, uh, G, uh, JPG files and uh, PDF files. This means uh, you can upload multi-page PDF and uh, multi-page PDF document will be handled automatically and response will contain a JSON structure uh, for each page individually. Like in this case, I'm using example here, bonds table. This is another one, lab results and bank statement example. It's uploaded here and I'm using default query, which comes from the example to fetch instrument name and valuation. And I'm specifying option for the tables only. So the way Sparrow works, if tables only is set, uh, then it will try uh, to identify inside this page, the table. It will crop the table image uh, or image with the table and it will use that image uh, for the inference with uh, Vision LLM. This, uh, in many cases, this allows to improve the quality of the result because Vision LLM have smaller scope to process. It doesn't need to process entire page. It uh, can focus on a table only and uh, in many cases, the result uh, will be much better instead of passing entire image of the entire page. Then, then we pass Sparrow key and Sparrow key is a secret. Uh, like anyone can access the application on this host but uh, uh, can, can view examples but uh, would not be able to execute actual inference with the own data or with the example data to re-execute the example inference. This, this is done because uh, backend runs on my uh, private Mac mini machine and uh, cannot be overloaded, it can handle one request at a time, and if uh, currently application backend is, is busy processing the request, then if someone else is executing with their own Sparrow key, uh, another request, then it will be automatically in the queue, and once the first request, request completes, this uh, second request from the queue also will be automatically executed. But in any way, this is not the inference step is not uh, available to anyone. Uh, it's not available to the anonymous user. If you want to try Sparrow, you can uh, send me a direct message or email uh, or direct message through the social network like LinkedIn, uh, X, or, or uh, just uh, write comment here in in YouTube or send me email and. Uh, I can share a uh, Sparrow key with you so you could uh, try uh, it from your computer and with your own document. Okay, so let's see how it works. So if we hit submit on this uh, host, we can uh, switch uh, to the screen sharing. And I'm sharing here the screen from uh, Mac Mini, which obviously another machine, not the one from where I'm recording the, the video, and we can see here that the model is loaded and GPU runs on uh, full load, 100%, and it's using uh, close to 50 gigabytes of memory. Of course, uh, since this is Mac Mini, uh, memory is shared across um, operating system and uh, uh, GPU task, so uh, around uh, 
probably 16 gigabytes, 15 gigabytes are being used by operating system and the rest uh, by some applications and, and the rest around 40 gigabytes in this case uh, being used by uh, Cuban 2 model and the model I'm using here is uh, 72 billion model uh, contains to be 4 bits and thanks to MLX VLM library I'm able to load this uh, vision model on top of MLX and run it on uh, M4 processor without uh, using any cloud NVIDIA solution. Okay, uh, while I was talking model, uh, the request was processed 70, se 70 seconds in this case, and if we uh, go back to the screen, we can see this is new data was retrieved. Also, this link to our Katana uh, website, or here version, and yeah. And uh, the uh, the backend runs on Mac Mini, and Mac Mini is exposed uh, to the public access through this host, and communication with the public web is done through Ngroc, uh, which uh, allows to uh, set up mapping with the custom domain, and then provides also uh, it provides uh, out of the box uh, HTTPS certificate, and uh, with auto renewal, so you need to bother with that uh, as soon as you register custom domain and you can create H where you can specify uh, for example content compression and uh, then gives you a special command line command where uh, you copy paste that and uh, you install and grow client on your machine and you execute that command and this opens a tunnel from your machine to the ngrok and then uh, as soon as the uh, custom domain is defined in ngrok then uh, then the traffic uh, goes and comes automatically. So as soon as you uh, hit this uh, domain, uh, Ngrok uh, uh, access a proxy and it sends a request to my mini machine, Mac mini machine. Their processing is done and response is sent back to you. So this is how uh, Sparrow UI works on, on web, and this is very signif significant moment for me uh, because uh, this uh, this means the first version of the Sparrow is uh, uh, you can say production, and it's available uh, for test to anyone who has Sparrow key on the web, and anyone can uh, see the examples and uh, it runs from my uh, local machine. And uh, the key point of Sparrow is to allow data extraction uh, not on cloud but on your own environment for the data privacy and security. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.